Hey everyone, back for more Banjo-Tooie. And, uh, I was going to say that this is the start of a new era where I do not fast-forward at all anymore. However, I just got done recording a total of 1 minute and 40 seconds, and without any speeding up or anything, it froze anyway, so... Screw it, I'm speeding up anyway. I'm just gonna have to make save states a lot more often to prevent that from being a problem. Anyway, this is Terry. Let's do the typical silence during cutscene stuff. I'm not entirely sure why he thinks you stole his eggs, but because of that, we are in a fight, which is not very difficult. So I wanted Jordan to do this fight, but apparently that was not meant to be, because he couldn't be here this weekend. But yeah, you just shoot him. That's about it. If for some reason you put in some sort of self-imposed challenge to not use grenade eggs, then that makes it harder, but... I can't think of any reason why you would want to do that, because it, it's just kind of stupid. It's not like you can skip grenade eggs completely throughout the game, so you'd just be refusing to use them for this one fight, and it would just make it take longer. It doesn't really make it any harder. Anyway, so let's just get on with it. And yeah, he's almost already dead. And, uh... Save stating in the middle of the boss battle. I'm going to be doing that a lot. Just because this game apparently decides to crash once every five minutes on average, so... I have to be prepared for it at all times. Yeah, those are, uh... Mucoids. I don't know why he has sentient snot, but he does, apparently. And he also has non-sentient snot. which is not very hard to avoid. And let's hit him one last time, maybe two, yeah, two more times, and there we go. Not sure how he's flying like that. And here comes a pretty funny, pathetic noise. I don't know why I'd find that hilarious. Okay, so... Yeah, he's like, you still have my eggs. No, we don't. Oh, okay. Like, now he believes you. <clears throat> I don't know. So, anyways, yeah, now that's settled, um, time to go on a mission to find the missing eggs. It froze, didn't it? No, it didn't. That's just, it shows you where a couple of the eggs are. Not all of them, for some reason. And, uh... I'm gonna break this open, but not go in there. And I'm not gonna get that jiggy, either. Just because I want to do something stupid later, so... Let's go on an egg hunt. Why not? It's not Easter, but it will be in a couple months. So if you wait a while to watch this LP, it will be relevant. I don't know. So now, now we're at the top of this cave, and, uh, I really have no reason to be up here at all. But, whatever. Let's take Kazooie for a spin. By which I, I spin, I, I spin, I mean just fall and obviously die. <coughs> so, let's find us some eggs. And hope that the game doesn't crash while I do so. There is an egg right over there, which is a lot harder to reach than it needs to be. So I have to go on a bit of a detour here. Um, I probably went the wrong way, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we've been through all this before, there's nothing new here, but 
during the cutscene, which I paid no attention to whatsoever because my grandma was apparently trying to come in to tell me something and then realized I was recording and left without saying a word, surprisingly. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to that cutscene, but now there's a fly pad you can use, so... Let's just... Oh, yeah, you can reboot. I, I'm not even connected to the internet right now. I screwed that up. Okay, let's try that again without having to respond to people. Oh my god. It's bad enough that I have to be recording so late today. Um... Can I pay a visit to Dippy? I'll have to find another fly pad, but... Let's see if I can pull this off. I know that I won't, so I'm save stating, but... Um... Early Cheeto Page. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to get that one normally if you, unless you uh, waited until, like, basically the, ex the very end of the game. Or actually, I think you can get it with the Clockwork Egg, too, but whatever. I like doing it this way, because I'm dumb. So, let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's talk to Dippy, just because I haven't yet. Seeker of Beverages. Ridiculously thirsty. He can't get out of the cave. Presumably because the sun burns him, but I think it's more because he's massive. And I don't... Unless the rest of his body is as, 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 is as thin as his neck is, I don't see how he could possibly get out of there. But whatever. That is a side quest for a much later time. So unfortunately, he's just going to have to be thirsty because there's not a thing I can do about it. I can't taxi pack him any water. I can't shoot him a bunch of ice eggs and have them melt. That penis isn't gonna do anything. I know, I thought it would too, but it will it won't. So let's just hatch us some eggs. Save stating, because I haven't in a while. So yeah, that's the first one. There are four eggs. There were, uh, I might be able to get most of them in this segment. I'm not sure if I'll have time for all of them, though. Um, yeah, you continue to be a Stegosaurus. I think those are called Bargosauruses, but but I don't know why. And it's funny because it's like Bargo, and Bargo is cool. Anyway, I haven't been in here yet. Uh, this is... The Oogle Boogle Cave, and they've got problems of their own as well. They are very cold, and they don't have any food, because the Ungabungas have locked them in there for a while. And so, unfortunately I can't feed them yet, but I can at least warm them up. So I'll do that. Ah, crap. Let's not die. Uh, actually, I think one of them I can't reach. Let me get a couple clockwork eggs here. They all say the same thing. Uh, you need food, junk food, junk food, good. Kind of a hint what kind of food you can get them. Yada, yada, yada. Let's go up here and get the egg. It's, yeah, it's kind of cute, I'll, I'll, I'll admit that. Oh, okay, I stopped speeding that up too early. And uh, there's another one that I actually can't reach because I... Oh wait, maybe I can. Is this... Oh, no, this is the switch leading to Itchy World, which is where you go and buy their food, which I can't really do yet, though. And there's another caveman who needs warming up, but I can't break that boulder. Unless a grenade egg will do it. Nope. I need Banjo with me, so... I guess he'll just... He can go visit the other cavemen. Come on. Don't have to do that. Anyway, let's head into the other caveman's cave. Not at all redundant. And, uh, will you let me pass? Okay, good. I was hoping he would. For some reason, I thought maybe he wouldn't if I didn't have Banjo with me. 
and I, oh, I never opened this up. I guess I, the game froze, and then I forgot to open it up in my subsequent playthrough. Um, this is not where I need to go. Where do I need to go? This is where I just came from, isn't it? Yeah. Um, where? Is it up here? No. The one with the towel over it leads back to Mayhem Temple. I'm lost, I'll admit it. Um, I thought there was another path out of here. There's like... Ugh, I'm so confused. Whatever, waste of time. I hate Ungabunga's cave. This is nothing new. So, I guess I'll reach the other cave, but not do anything in it yet. And I'm out of time anyway, so... Uh, next time I will hatch the remaining eggs and be done with this level for now, not counting the return trips for stuff. So yeah, see you then.